Do you know what else comes without warning? This appointment. I have been wanting to read this book for months. Months. I finished Carnival maybe less than a year ago and it was magical, it was enchanting, it was whimsical. One of my favorite books of all time. And then I found out about The Night Circus and I feel like they have the same vibe. I just thought, okay, these are just expectations that I've made up in my head. That they were both were going to be equally magical and enchanting and whimsical, but they were not. I mean, Caraval was all of that and more. This book, my friends, is the least magical book I've read in a long time. This book says it is magical. Magical, enchanting, spellbinding, mesmerizing. None of that. None of that. I may be one of the few. I thought that this book had good reviews. 500 pages and I kept waiting for the plot and I kept waiting. There is no plot. Now, I do have to mention that there's something good about the book. The writing is beautiful. It is luscious. I mean, the, the writing is amazing. But that's really all that this book has got going for it because, oh boy, I struggled. <sighs> but that's really what this book is. The writing is great and she's great at describing stuff. But, and that's really what this book is. Just 500 pages of scenery descriptions, mood setting, describing the circus. I mean, how many times is she going to tell us about the black and white striped tents? I mean, we get it. It's a black and white circus. There's a lot of characters in this book and there's the two main characters and there's these all these other characters that are somewhat involved in the circus, but honestly, I don't really care about them in the end. They don't even matter. You know, nothing matters in this book. Every chapter, it keeps jumping times. So it's in 18 something and then it's 19 something. It keeps jumping in time back and forth. And also it changes the location because the circus is always moving cities around the world. And sometimes it's not even happening in the circus but these characters are somewhere else. So not only it jumps time, it also jumps locations all the time and it jumps characters all the time. At some point, I, I stopped keeping track of time. My favorite character, turns out, not the two main characters. My favorite character was Bailey. What was yours? Now the biggest issue, besides being a very no plot book, um, the blurb. You know, the summary, the description in the back of the book, it's a total lie. I think it is the first time where I see a summary of the book that is so misleading and highly exaggerated. None of this is true. So I'm going to read it to you and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to actually tell you what actually happens in the book. So just to let you know, Major spoilers from here on. A fierce competition is underway. A duel between two young magicians, Celia and Marco. So Celia and Marco are the main characters and it is such a lie. When you read this, it sounds exciting. You're like, yes, I, I wanna see that. So while you might be imagining right now an epic battle of magicians, it's actually like a very boring chess match where they're just looking at the board and then they they're gonna make a move but they don't and you're just watching them not do anything continuing celia and marco who have been trained since childhood expressly for this purpose by their mercurial instructors these old magicians they get these two children they put a ring on their finger and then it kind of like burns their finger as in like it's it's binding now they're in this competition and they cannot get out they basically force these two children 
to get into a duel that they did not ask for. I don't think they consented to this. They are abusive. I know that um, Celia's father even like cuts up her finger so that she can heal it back up because yeah, she does have magical abilities and they have to train from childhood to control and you know evolve their skills basically so ever since they're children okay and then they grow up so this duel lasts lasts for decades okay and guess what they don't tell us what the rules are the players themselves they don't know what the rules are they don't really know how the game works they don't know how it ends nobody knows anything you actually have to wait until like 400 pages to actually find out what's at stake at this game and how to make it end. So after they grow up, they're working in the circus. The circus is basically their like chessboard, is their platform for them to have the duel on. Um, it's just like a demonstration of abilities. So like you make a move and then the other person has to make a move, but there's nothing like time sensitive. So you can make a move whenever you want so I, I, I don't really know the author likes to describe so much of the circus but this dual thing I don't really know what's happening it's not interesting they're basically showing up their abilities by creating like new tents of amazements at the circus oh here's something new and oh how amazing it is things are supposed to be magical but you know it's just a trick you know it's supposed to appear like magic but it's not so that's what they're trying to do and I already told you there were gonna be spoilers all of this is spoilers but really major spoiler by the way the actual stakes of the game when they finally find out what's at stake and how to finish the game is that one of them has to die so not only is this game um, a demonstration of their abilities it's also an endurance game so whoever endures the longest until death basically one of them has to die for the other one to become victorious so maybe it's not that high of a spoiler because it kind of says in the summary unbeknownst to them both this is a game in which only one can be left standing so i didn't even notice this but i thought that this was like the biggest reveal in the book even like the biggest plot twist of the book if you can even call it a plot twist but it's actually in the summary, so maybe it's not. I was supposed to know that from the beginning. Now the rest of the summary here, it's actually different than the one from Goodreads. So I actually want to read the one from Goodreads because it's so much more dramatic than this one. Celia and Marco tumble headfirst into love. A deep magical love that makes the lights flicker and the room grow warm whenever they so much as brush hands. Wow, that is such a highly exaggerated description of what actually happened. There, there are no sparks, just to let you know. The love story is, uh, it was just placed there. It was forced. Celia and Marco, even though they've been dueling, they, they actually don't meet each other until so much later. And when they finally meet each other, it's like Marco kind of just falls for her at first sight almost. It's like they have, they did not have any meaningful conversation, any meaningful interaction. I, I don't know, there's no sparks. So basically now there's the drama of they're supposed to be doing each other. You should not be falling in love. It's gonna make everything so much harder. Cause remember, one of you has to die. So it's creating high stakes because one of them has to die and it's supposed to be oh so dramatic but there is no time limit to this game they can just keep going I don't really understand all of a sudden they fall in love and they start getting all stressed out oh my god we gotta finish this game we gotta end it I'm gonna kill myself because I wanna end this and I love you there is no time sensitive like you make a move and then, I don't know, a year later, you make a move. A year later or two, you make another move. You can just live out the rest of your lives in love, 
continuing this ish until one of you dies of natural causes. Doesn't make sense to me. So like I said, the writing is beautiful, it's luscious. After a few pages, even a hundred pages, you're like, okay, I, I had enough of the writing, I, it's beautiful, but can we get some plot, please? I cannot just keep reading hundreds and hundreds of pages of scenery and no plot, okay? I need some excitement from the book. So the other, what kept me going really is just the thought that there's gonna be a big plot twist at the end and it's gonna be so surprising and shocking and it's gonna make everything worth it. But you know what? There is no plot twist. There is nothing. This book is dull until the very end. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I finished reading this book last night and I was so upset. So have you read this book? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below and keep in mind it's okay for us to have different opinions. If you love this book, I'm so sorry that I just trashed it. This is just my opinion, okay? You're allowed to love this book. But yeah, do let me know. It will be interesting to know different opinions. What did you think of this book if you read it? And after this review of mine, um, are you going to be reading it? Let me know in the comments down below. So this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.